way you was feeling on me when kissing revealed enough. I wanna scratch you, provoke you, bite you, choke you, but just a little. Bite your legs, dig up in the middle, and then hold up, wait a second, nigga, you got a condom? Come on, beautiful. You know, I was gonna make a very helpful, uh, like, advice video for the people who didn't get into saying, and I'm still gonna do that, but. Why do I have to get sick today? Like, why not yesterday? Why could? Why did I have to get sick today? This is horrible. I feel like complete shit. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but I don't even. I don't even want to fucking wear my glasses. That guy. I can't even like. I can barely even see the screen. But like, I'm just so tired, and I've got this massive headache and a sore throat. Like, it's it's absolutely horrible. I don't know what I've got. Uh, probably like rabies or something. I'm sorry this video isn't going to be as funny as my other videos, but I'm really like, you know, just not feeling it today. But I really wanted to make this video because the results for the sane recruitment challenge came out and a lot of people were really disappointed and really pissed off with saying i wanted to just make this video really quickly to give people some advice on like how to still get into sane because a lot of people they think that this recruitment challenge is um like the end like if they don't win this recruitment challenge they're gonna think it's the end of the world or something guys this recruitment challenge is like it's not going to be the last one and what people need to realize is that this is where I start giving people advice and shit. What people need to realize is that this RC was given to them for absolutely no reason. It's not like you had to do something to get this RC. You got this RC completely free and we gave you this opportunity to join this team for basically nothing. All you had to do was go out and hit clips for a month. And a lot of snipers and trick shotters were thinking to themselves like, Oh, how come I didn't get in and all this stuff? And... They started tweeting at the same members a, a load of crap saying like that they thought that they should have got in and there I remember I saw this one guy and he was like this it he tweeted at one of the leaders I think he tweeted at royalty or something and he said no wonder that royalty gets death threats every single day and I'm just like why the fuck would you say that like there's that is completely like not necessary. Now, I understand that people can be upset of, over the fact that they lost an RC, but you gotta remember, guys, that, like, again, this RC was given to you for no reason. We picked the people who we thought would best suit the team. Uh, like, honestly, you need to have a more open mind towards the content that you produce and towards the clips that you've created, because, uh, on, like, honestly, compare yourself to other people in the team. I know that sounds absolutely horrible because normally you really shouldn't be comparing yourself. You should creating be creating your own style and stuff like that. But just because you think you're good doesn't mean that we think you're good. And I, I know this all sounds horrible, but I'm gonna but I'm gonna get into more motivational stuff in a second. But basically, you guys need to have more of an open mind towards like the type of clips that you hit and towards the content that you upload and what type of things you're gonna be able to do for our team because. At the end of the day, we're going to pick up people who suit us. We're not going to pick up somebody who's not really going to benefit us. I mean, obviously, when we recruit people, our intentions are to also give back to you guys while at the same time benefiting ourselves. It kind of goes both ways, hand in hand. But if you don't benefit us, we can't benefit you back. I know it sounds absolutely horrible, but that's just how it works, and that's just how the world is, you know? The people who I really look up to are the people who went for this recruitment challenge and were thankful for the fact that they got this opportunity in the first place, and those are the people who are going to get into the team either way. I mean, let's be realistic here. If you started hitting a shit ton of good clips, and you were able to join Sane, but you talked shit to one of the leaders before, do you honestly think that they're going to pick you up in the future? You need to set yourself up for the future. I understand that people, they get pissed off and they think, they don't think think with their heads or whatever and whenever they lose a recruitment challenge like this the only thing they can think about is being pissed off or whatever but if you can kind of suppress that anger and just realize that this isn't the end of the world you can still join in the future it's just you have to just work a little bit harder people who talk shit to leaders or whatever they're not going to get anywhere i understand that you want to express your anger and you want to talk shit to all the leaders and hope that they're but how is that going to achieve anything you go, tweeting at the leaders telling them to kill themselves and telling them that you're supposed to be in the team and not somebody else do you honestly think one of the leaders is going to think to themselves oh you know what this guy's right this guy's chatting shit to me on twitter and honestly i think i should replace 
uh, one of the people in our team with him because he seems like a really nice guy. I mean, yeah, he's not hitting as good clips as the other guy, and he's also sending me death threats over Twitter. Let's just fucking pick him up into the team. Do you honestly think anybody's going to think that? After the RC was over, I can already tell you, people who have lost, there's already a few potential recruits, and every single one of them is a nice person, hasn't sent any death threats, and has just been thankful for the entire thing. You talking shit to someone on Twitter it just makes a bad name for yourself and it just makes people not want to pick you up and it's not just with Sane but if any bigger team say if you decide to just start uploading content and you start hitting really nice clips and stuff like that if you try to join a team in the future like a bigger team like Obey, Sore Face and they see your timeline filled with a bunch of shit talking to other people that's not the type of person they want to recruit I'm sorry but that's just how it is you need to, like, a lot of these people, they need to work on their attitude. If I lost this recruitment challenge, I wasn't going to tweet to the leaders telling them to kill themselves and that I should have been part of the team. Anyway, I've mentioned that way too much. Now, let's go into a little bit of advice. To anybody who lost this recruitment challenge, don't fucking stop. I know that it might not motivate you. I know that it's unmotivating to go for an RC for an entire month and then end up losing and not getting anywhere. But believe it or not, you might be closer than you think. I'm gonna give an example here. His name's Filthy. His RC consisted of clips that were way better than mine. The only clip that I think I had better out of my RC was my quad, but the rest of my clips weren't really that great. There were quad feeds and like splits and stuff like that. I joined because of personality, but there's this guy who went for the RC and for his RC he put in a bunch of quad feeds, five on screens, uh, uh, like quite a good amount of triples and stuff like that. And I saw his RC and I talked to him in DMs for a little bit and now we play together a little bit. And I was talking to this guy and I was telling him like, yo, you hit some like really, really nice clips and the fact that you didn't get in really confused me. I really thought that he deserved a spot on the team, but of course I'm not going to argue with the leaders and tell them. I was, I wanted to suggest him and tell the leaders that I think he's a good recruit for the future, but I have no power to just tell the leaders to kick and recruit and whoever. But in my personal opinion, I thought this guy deserved to be insane. I thought that he hit some really, really nice clips and I thought that he was going to be picked up. He was very doubtful at first, like he was saying how like, oh, he's not going to get in and then the results were released and he didn't end up getting in. But one thing I told him is, dude, you are so close. It turns out that the leaders actually had his AVI finished and everything and they were ready to recruit him, but it turns out that they ended up recruiting somebody else. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. That is the closest you are going to get to a team without actually making it. This guy had his AVI already made and was about to get into the team, but it turns out that somebody took his spot. Now, obviously, I'm not mad at the person who took his spot. I honestly, like, good for you and all that. Like, I... I'm not like I'm not like best friends with Filthy or anything, but I thought he deserved a spot on the team And it just turned out that somebody ended up doing better than him and Filthy was telling me like oh my god That sucks like they I like I was telling Filthy that I would have preferred to not even know that But at the same time I was kind of thinking to myself like a team telling you that they had an AVI made for you and everything and you were about to win the challenge, if anything, that should motivate you. You are so close to getting into the team. Basically, all they had to do at that point was recruit you and it just turned out that you got unlucky and that somebody else took your spot, but that doesn't mean you should give up. If you just push that little bit harder and you just work that little bit harder, you are going to get into the team. I'm telling you right now that there are going to be people in the future who are going to become inactive and who are going to get kicked from saying, and that's right there, that's filthy opportunity he's going to get into the team i'm telling you right now filthy is going to get into the team i'm calling it and sane had announced that they were going to give people private rcs and shit like that and filthy was saying how like oh he doesn't think he's going to get an rc and like he doesn't think he deserves this and all this stuff and he thought that he wasn't even going to get a private rc what happens next i get onto ps4 i talk to him he's got a private rc no i'm telling you right now if filthy works hard for this rc and he gets a good amount of clips he's getting into sane and obviously that's not my decision i can't just say that he's going to get into sane but i really Really, really think that Filthy is going to get in. Now you might be thinking, how does this story benefit me in some way? The reason I'm telling you this is because I'm trying to motivate you guys that even if you didn't get into the team, if you just work that little bit harder, just put in that little bit more effort, you're going to get in. Hard work does not go unrecognized. I can tell you that right now. Guys, I have been sniping for two years and it took me two years to get into a team with 5,000 subscribers. Now I'm not saying that 5,000 subscribers is a bad thing, but it's definitely not the biggest team in the world world and anybody in the team will admit that to you but it's a stepping stone eventually 
you're going to get better, you're going to work your way up the ladder, and you're going to get into bigger teams. It took me two years to join this team. This has been the best team that I've ever been on. Basically, what I'm trying to get at with this commentary is don't let this one RC determine whether or not you're going to go on to the future and do big things because it will happen work hard and just keep doing what you're doing and you will get better this goes to editors as well a lot of i remember i was talking to this one guy who was an editor and in my opinion he wasn't the greatest editor of all time like i didn't really think his edits were going to get him into sane and i told him this but at the same time i was telling him if you keep working and you keep trying to you know improve your edits and stuff like that it happens over time everybody had to start somewhere go back and compare my very first edits if you compare against the sun to wake up or the imp promo or even the 300 subscriber montage that's coming pretty soon against the sun doesn't even come close to those i remember when i made against the sun i thought it was the greatest montage of all time i thought it was such a good montage i felt like i was on top of the world and now i look back on it and it's really not that great of a montage i edited it pretty badly so to anybody who hasn't hit the best clips for this RC who ended up losing to any editors out there that got told that their work wasn't good enough to join Sane. That shouldn't demotivate you. That really should just kind of push you that little bit forward. Think to yourself, oh, I didn't hit that many clips for this RC. I didn't hit the bangers and all this stuff, or I didn't make YouTube videos that were good enough to join the team, or I didn't edit a montage good enough for this team. So what? Just keep going with it, because when it comes to editing, here's an example for editing. Editing is kind of like math. There's no way to just learn how to do math. It's practical. The more practice you put in towards math, the better you're going to be at it. There's no way to just learn how to do math. You have to actually sit down and do it to get better at it. I love the way how I'm saying that, but I ended up failing my Christmas exam for math. But that's besides the point. It doesn't matter who you are and how bad you start off. If you keep editing and if you keep sniping and going for clips, you will get better. It's, it's inevitable. There is is absolutely no way that you can snipe for years on end and not see some sort of improvement. I remember when I first started sniping, I hit like split quad feeds, like faded split quad feeds on Nuketown and I got so fucking excited over them. These days, if I hit a fucking quad feed where I miss one shot in it, I won't even fucking save it. Your standards do go up over time and you do improve as a player and like I know it seems like that goal is completely unreachable. I know you're thinking to yourself that, oh, I'm never going to be good enough. I'm never going to be able to hit those clips. I'm never going to be able to make good videos. I'm never going to be able to edit properly and I'm never going to get noticed by anybody. I know I just said never so many fucking times, but it's it's not true guys. You will make it. It all comes from here guys. All you need to do is just tell yourself that it's going to work out. Now I'm not saying that when I first started sniping my my main goal was to join Sane. I didn't even know about Sane until like over a month ago. What I'm trying to say is that the more you do something, the better you will get at it. And you will get better at it. It's just inevitable. It's something that just happens without you even realizing. And your hard work will not go unrecognized. People don't see greatness and scroll by it on their phone. If someone sees a good edit, they're going to share it around with people. That's just the nature of people. Once they find something cool, they like to share it around with others. So what I'm telling you is it doesn't matter how bad you are right now, just keep doing what you're doing and you will get somewhere. So the main points I want to focus out on this video is one, don't give anybody shit because you didn't make a team because you will make it and you need to make yourself you need to make a good image for yourself and two just keep working just keep going hard and you will make it somewhere like I know it sounds like so cliche and I know a lot of people just say that all the time but it is true the more you work at something the better you're gonna become and you will get noticed for it anyway guys I know this was kind of a long video and I know I kind of repeated points a lot in this video and it wasn't really the funniest of videos it was just kind of talking about advice and telling people what to do and stuff like that but trust me just stay motivated and don't give up because the giving up is the worst thing you can do as long as you keep doing something anything it doesn't matter if you put one percent effort into doing something you love it's better than zero percent as long as you don't give up you can't go wrong anyway i'm sorry this video wasn't really that funny but i just really felt like i had to give some advice to people you guys will make sane and you will make bigger teams if you just keep going on with it trust me it just that's just how it goes anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching peace